we're going to be making, this is the only time I've ever heard this called this, but yagatama. Yagatama? Uh, uh, basically, potato salad balls. I like potatoes. Exactly. Potatoes. Yeah. potatoes. So we're going to uh, play around with this. So basically, what we've got is, I think we have an illustration. Actually, no, there's an illustration here. Um, Korean style ones. Okay. So I'm curious um, how, there we how go. similar it is. So oh, that's what we're making. That hopefully. Delicious. So it is that right down there is what we're making tonight. Yagatama balls. And we'll see. I Googled it. I, again, they were like, what's that? I have no <laughs> idea. Um, so I think they just kind of made up that word for this. But we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to start with some potatoes, which I forgot to get, so say I'm hitting things for a few moments while I grab this knife here. <laughs> yeah, I get Tama balls, that's... So have you guys had Korean potato salad? Because it's amazing. <laughs> I never knew stuff like this existed. Isn't that cool? This is so adorable. Manga cookbook. <laughs> and it says, the Manga University Culinary Institute. Who would have thought? What is this? <laughs> oh, look at that bento box. Oh, that my does look really cute. Little bento box, a little diagram of where everything is and what it is. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Oh, my. Look at that. <laughs> Those are some dive skills right there. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. I don't know if you guys cool. have seen this in a previous... Um, go the other way. Oh, that's it. Right? Really nice. Here we go. That's like one potato. It's all like sliced, but it's still like held together on one side. <laughs> it's amazing. Pretty darn impressive. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we're going to start by cooking up some potatoes. Potatoes. Because that's Apparently kind of that would be an, uh, an accidental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a sharper knife. <laughs> that's funny. I think she meant to chop through, but didn't quite make it. I have had that happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but intentionally, that would be a neat effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was always a Of course, potatoes. when you try to do it, that's when it won't work. Mm -hmm. That's when it's all the way through. <laughs> totally. So, first thing to do with our... We start with two potatoes, like these, and we're going to wash them. That's Super. fairly important. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Ooh. Not that much. Oh, oh, yeah. There's something. It's just. Did I not? Actually, you know what I should do? I should just do that. There we go. No, no, no. It's still. Did no, I not no you did it exactly right. It's just not. Oh, there's a there's a little foot there. Maybe I can uh, do that. Tell me yeah. that. Okay. Yep. And yeah. Oh, there we go. Well done. Ta-da! What? Well done, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they will be. I have a sinking feeling. <laughs> Um, I think what we're going to do is we're, we're going to uh, microwave them. Microwave. It's not yeah, ideal, but it's fast. Yeah, yeah. Totally. We're rubbing up the potatoes. So I always worry about scrubbing potatoes because the more you scrub, the less brown there is. It's like, at what point <laughs> is there not enough brown left? Like, yeah. at what point is all the, the dirt off? I never know. Getting the dirt off, you're taking out all those great nutrients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. Wait a minute. Where is that stopping point? Vitamins and minerals <laughs> mm -hmm. and probiotics. Yes, <laughs> and worms and all sorts of other fun things. Yeah. Okay. Win some, you lose exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just get this off. And my grocery store is pretty good about getting you know, a lot of the dirt off. So don't have to worry too much about you know, this is really getting the dust off as opposed to mm. stuff that's really deep into the uh, potato or anything. But it's always good to make sure you give it a good scrub. Mm. So we're not feeling. Um, yes, we will. I'm going to cube potatoes. Yeah, they don't say to skin them. We're just going to cube them and zap them. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll cool. see. I think you certainly could if you wanted to. Very geometric. So then they say to put those in uh, a bowl. So, um, uh, middle uh, bottom cabinet. There's a big glass bowl in there. Yeah, top thing. Yeah, pretty black bullet. Yep, there you go. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Where is the lid? Where is the lid? Yep. Very good. Probably will. 
so, good question. We need a mayonnaise. We need some frozen veggies, which we will also cook. Um, yep, should be the top, uh, top shelf on the door. <laughs> uh, we'll also need, um, uh, I have the lemon here, um, uh, yeah, there should be some frozen mixed veggies in there, the bag, the top uh, shelf there. So they say cut into cubes. Cubes. Well, gosh. Yeah. That's not specific. Um, Roots so, into cubes. Exactly. So <laughs> we're going to just cut this into, oh my gosh. I used to Start do this for work. My lunch break. Uh, Sometimes I would just take a whole, bring a whole potato, or just chop it up ahead of time and then microwave it. Nice. Just, just put butter and salt and pepper, and I was good to go. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're just going to. Um, fillets. Precision, one point five centimeters squares <laughs> all the way around. Exactly. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead. Small cubes. There's like fairly small cubes in there. So we will just chop these up. One of the big things about knife skills is being willing to be certain. Just kind of chopping through until I get my finger. Exactly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the thing. Draw a new corner. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do all these, and then we're going to microwave these for three minutes. Um, okay. As you undoubtedly know, <laughs> brown on that one. Microwaves may vary. Um, exactly, <laughs> microwaves may vary. And like a, a regular potato would be, need maybe five minutes in the microwave. Oh, if it's cooked whole. If it's cooked whole, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whereas a chalk one only needs about three. And we all know why, right? In the chat room, you all know why, right? Because potatoes are aliens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Surface area, mass. Uh, mass of potatoes. Mm -hmm. So there's that. That's why babies get cold faster. Their surface to mass mm -hmm. ratio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Um. Oh. <laughs> I've been doing this for three years. This one has a brown spot, so we're just gonna cut off. Yeah, yeah. We have plenty of potato. That's not enough. All right. Okay, so this gets covered with uh, any sort of covering is gonna do. We'll go ahead and use plastic. Let me tell us what to do. Well, it might not be great <laughs> not for, the for this, but... For any food preparation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, as you guys may not re have realized, I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is going to the microwave for three minutes. Yeah. Of course, if you eat some coloring, you eat lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we're going to do it to top that. Let's so uh, let's see, did you find frozen veggies? Uh, yes, you did. Very good. Ah, thank you. Very good. Let me grab a, uh, they say how much? Four tablespoons? Okay. It sounds like a lot, but. Interesting. Let's see real quick. Um, hey, shy nerd girl. Um, Okay. This is Kaminoko. Check out Kaminoko online. Um, okay, good. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I think that they, they should be able to. I think yep, we're going to do it. Okay. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Um, yep, so, yep, yep. Exactly. So we need. Um, uh, we need next one. We want to cook these, obviously. And so let's grab a little bowl. They want four tablespoons, which I guess, yeah, for this many, that makes sense. That's a measuring spoon. I thought tablespoons go on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of spoons. Uh, you know. 
I suppose mixing up tablespoons and teaspoons, you could get a very different result. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Tablespoons are the big ones. Teaspoons are the small ones. Very important. Okay. I think just a spoon out of your drawer will also get a different effect than using a measuring spoon. Yes. <laughs> Definitely be aware when you're using a spoon spoon or a tablespoon or a teaspoon or any other measuring thing. Spoonerism. Spoonerism, yes. <laughs> you're doing that as well. All right. There's some things you can get away with it and some things you yeah. can't. <laughs> And this is actually a great example of that, where we're just going to be mixing these into our potatoes. Yeah. If there's more or less, it doesn't matter until oh, you have no. so much. I was one more. Could have too much. Exactly. Right. Then you're not going to fall apart. <laughs> um, but if you have a huge amount, then it's just going to be, you know, too uh, much overpowering yeah. flavors. Well, it, it won't hold together because you'll have, oh. you know, well, you know too many. corn with like a little bit of potato in between. So it holds together. Right. I haven't it all together. Yeah, we're making these sort of. Spiracles. Spiracles. Exactly. Um, all right. So, about half a minute left on that. Then we'll put the vegetables and then we'll mash them. Mash them, mash them, mash them. Exactly. Um, and don't, don't overdo it. That's an important point. Potatoes get icky. Icky. If you over, over mix them. Or over, over, over mess them. Do they, they dry up? Or? Gluten like gluey. Oh, gluey. Yeah. Gluey. They just get kind of. You ever had mashed potatoes that have been kind of overdone, overbeaten, and they just kind of turn all like um, like glue, basically? I've um, never really thought about it. I've got to yeah. I've got to perceive that next time. I yeah. just I eat them so fast I don't realize. <laughs> 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 I have a tendency to like overdo things like that. Mm -hmm. Chop stuff too small. It's so makes easy. Makes it too long. This is too this is I've never managed to get it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I will, like the opposite. <laughs> I will give you a recipe. Okay. For a pie crust that is no fan. I, I, I almost guarantee it. Um, one of those things I'm like, oh, this is how to make it. It's easy. It's amazing. I have the exact same problem. It's like, oh, just these steps. Oops. Okay. I do not have any Oh, no material required. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's literally combine these ingredients and mix them up until you get a dough. Stop. Done. Okay. Yeah, I was like, wow, yeah. thank you. Nice. <laughs> it's nice having friends who cook. Yeah. <laughs> and learning other cooks. So, um, salt, sugar, and curry powder. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to curry up. so tasty. Yeah. yeah. Curry powder, sugar. Is it enough sugar, you think? Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> and so we'll. It's interesting. I think we're going to need the full five minutes on those potatoes because they were they were still crispy, um, nowhere near cooked. Um, so then we will. Actually, what am I? It's been a minute. I'm going to check. Did they get soft and squishy or? They should be reasonably soft. So, yeah. Oh, so this is the put the fork yeah, in it and see if it's done. Yeah. Actually, no, that's still pretty. Yeah. They're not. Well, they're not soft. Yeah. Okay. Another minute. Fair enough. Again, microwave dairy. It's starting to smell good, though. Yeah. <laughs> and if we wanted to, of course, we could just stop and make mashed potatoes. Um, which I would not, um, you know, mind. Anytime <laughs> anyone says, just have mashed potatoes. Yeah. But that's not what we're doing today. So basically, no. all we're going to do here is mash these up and then mix in these vegetables that we will cook. And then add some mayonnaise, salt, sugar, and curry powder, and squeeze in, ah, the juice of a lemon, which I forgot to do. We're going to do that before we go any further. That's a really large lemon. That's a really large lemon. So we will probably uh, go a little easier on that. Use some cleaner on that. I've been meaning to do that. What kind of cleaner is that? I don't know if you know this is vinegar. This is half vinegar, half water. All it is. Sure, half water. Um, that's, a, that's a neat idea. Somebody did an actual like study, and they found that this works as good as the commercial cleaners. Um, yeah. You know, it's as really? effective. You know, it gets. I mean, no cleaner gets off every single germ, but you know, ninety-eight percent. Just like a, a, a distilled white vinegar. I mean, yeah, distilled white vinegar it's and water. Half and half. Okay, that's hot. Uh, but it, it's a few moments, it's fine, and then we will. So I take it we're going to use the zester there. Yep. I've got, actually it's just a juicer, I think. Don't need to do it. Give me something to do. Okay. Uh, 
Um, here. Okay. Um, juice. Juice it. Do you want the zest it first? Um, I, we don't need the zest. Oh, That's up to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different flavor. Yeah. So just the juice. Just the juice. Uh, yeah, oh, we need to cut that in half. Um, let me, yes. Do we mind getting a little potato on this? Nah, I mean, it's all going to go in. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be tapping it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there we go. There we go. So that's going there. This is here. So now, let me just test these. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there, this went, yeah. went in. That went in. Some are still a little, 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 little. Well, we're gonna go with this. All right. See what happens. We'll, we'll go nuts here. Okay, so I'm gonna have something for you to do here in a second. Oh they my! They might keep cooking in their own kind of. That's true. A little bit too. Over, you know. Uh, oh, actually, can you hold that? Yes. Yay! Okay. Uh, go ahead and close that. Zip that up. Uh, and remove as much air as you can. There we go. All right. Then Ooh, hop, hop, hop. you have a job. I have a job. Oh, I, I, I whack it with a spoon. Yes. <laughs> whack a roll. Mm -hmm. Whack a potato. Just mash them up. Mash them up good. I'm a whiff. <laughs> You want to come around? It's a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whack a hole. Crunch. <laughs> 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 they're kind of fur, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, they're, they're kind of. Mm, okay. I'll tell you what. Let's try this. So, I'm going to 
plus white dice. If you can measure out dirt of a cup, dirt of a cup, I don't use them. So two so big potatoes. Okay. So now we return to this process and have you hold this yes. open. Yes. Thank you very much. That's like a, <laughs> David Kane in the beginning of Kung Fu where he <laughs> <laughs> burns his arms on the on the cauldron. Exactly. So is that squooshing is the question. Is is that more yeah, squishy? okay, that's more squishy. If you want to try to squish it, get it sealed before yeah, I squish okay. it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It goes everywhere. <laughs> there we go. That feels like it. Cool. Snaps right. Okay. Do your squishing. Mm -hmm. Solid. Uh, I'll make them back some Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Today. If I can, you see more than a couple times. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then. Maybe I'll just turn back in the bowl. <laughs> they did the mash. Take that all your stress from the end of the week, right? <laughs> I'm spanking you. <laughs> 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 That's what they do. I actually also used the back of a. Ah, yeah. Because it's hard. Yeah. What, like, oh, oh, like, yeah, so, like, I, I, don't, I don't want to stab anybody. Put my eye out. Yeah, these are hard. These are, yeah, okay. Yeah, they well, don't want to. Yeah, that is the end of the It's very high. Yeah. Yeah. That one isn't going to go in there. Don't worry. Don't worry. The bowling pin you can whack. Yeah, right, right through that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Um, the other possibility. That's actually that's actually not too bad. Oh yeah, yeah it is actually. Um, you just have a few chunks that you do not want to match. Yeah. So. Well, we didn't want to be totally messed up though. That's true. Be okay. Yeah, we may have had to push those out because again, yeah. it's kind of hard to make mashed potato potato salad stuff without like, large chunks. Mm -hmm. of that's true. Okay. We are. You know what? You may have to do it. You may have to do this. But we could put them smaller. Well, I'm just I think I'm just gonna cook potatoes oh, in the microwave. Well, or buy just a whole. Oh, okay. Because I've done that a bunch of times and oh, I know yeah. that's yeah. easy. Uh, you can, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good idea. Because this is just yeah, okay. No! Oh. We can still use those for something else exactly. later. Exactly, yes. <laughs> but for now, that is moving. Take two. Exactly. Food I always love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not really good. Yeah. 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 That was a sweet lemon. Mm. Sensei, she's eating the lemons. Uh, nah, Sammy, nah, eat nah, the lemon nah. peel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> My mom eats lemons whole. Oh, wow. And all, and that's yep. who I learned it from. So. Gosh. Which is weird, because I eat lemons, but I learned it from somebody else. Who eats lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from a, a family in Ukraine. Oh, oh okay. interesting. They had a neat little trick. In, mm -hmm. um, they explained if you have a little bit of cognac mm. and you take uh, a slice of lemon, you, know, mm -hmm. and you put sugar on it, and you drink the cognac and then eat the lemon mm. with the sugar on it, mm -hmm. peel it all, and you get this very interesting tingling sensation. It's a great flavor and mm -hmm. aroma, and it's, a, it's something that's probably Yeah. <laughs> or you could just chug the cognac. Yeah. 
Oh, who needs something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, don't drink unless you're of age. Exactly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Totally. Serious mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is... Actually, Evan, um, on the uh, door back there, I have a page called Me- The Medieval Diet, and it talks about cooking potatoes in the microwave. Mm. And it will have um, times for one... Potato or two potatoes or three potatoes? Hmm. Uh, one potato, three minutes. Okay. Five minutes or two potatoes. All right. Wait, All here's right. microwave for five minutes, then flip and repeat for three minutes for one potato. Ah, so it's five first. Five after piercing and flipping, and then three after repeat. Okay, so definitely five. Definitely five. And then flip, three. and then three. Okay. Um, but we are doing two potatoes, so five. Well, this, uh, uh... Uh, we're doing two. Okay, yeah. so five and five. Yeah, okay, cool. Five, yeah, excellent. Split, five. But first, <laughs> you pierce. Uh, you guys see? Stab the potato. Yeah. Oh, he got his eye. <laughs> <laughs> Both sides. We'll flip them in the oven. You want it in the microwave. So, so now, he's, the, the, the reason we do this is this so that pressure doesn't it doesn't make it explode. Exactly. It's, it's a rather it's important thing. Exploding potatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It starts hot. <laughs> it, yeah. it, that's the problem, is it's exploding nuclear potatoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it just rubs the wet off. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, we are going to wait five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. So, that is that. So, let's reveal real quick. What we've covered so far, so this recipe is simply cooking potatoes, chopping cooking potatoes, mashing them, adding mixed vegetables, as well as a few seasonings and some mayo and some lemon juice. And that will give us a potato salad, basically, with the little balls. Uh, that's going to be the recipe. That's not what we've cooked, we've cooked before tonight. Just as a reminder, for those looking for other episodes, they're on the channel. So the first thing we made... You might remember our Usagi Ringo, little um, apple rabbits, Usagi. if you will. Usagi or rabbits. Exactly. So you just uh, slice up uh, apples and make little rabbit shapes out of them, oh, that's so cute. Uh, which is adorable and darn easy. And then we did Tamago Tomodachi, little egg friends, where you take hard-boiled eggs and you stick sesame seeds in them. <laughs> for oh, eyes. That oh, insane. that's so cute. And little bits yes. of carrots. Oh my goodness. Cool. <laughs> and then you eat them. Yes. <laughs> cool. um, Japan loves to make things super adorable and cute. And, and then them. you eat them. <laughs> <laughs> or kill them. Yeah, um, yeah. Did we make the, the hatch wings, the cucumber slice? I think we did. <laughs> cucumber hatch wings. It's, it's, it's crazy. Oh, you did the hot dog thing? I did, but the it didn't work out. Um, so, and I've discovered why. Because they say in here, somewhere in here, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, that what you do is you either boil them or pan fry them. I pan fried them and they never opened up. Huh. But I think boiling them, that's going to pump up and that's going to make them do that. So I don't think pan frying is an effective Maybe it depends on the type of like, sausage. Yeah, it could be the pan that- as well. Yeah, so next time I'll try boiling. Uh, then we made, well, we made steamed rice, but that's um, straightforward. Onigiri! And so onigiri, rice balls that are not ball shaped at all. Yeah. Um, they're kind of wedge shaped. Triangular. Yep, triangular wedge shaped. A little bit of nori on there to hold it with. That's what I see. I see. Type of thing. Yes, seaweed. Uh, the pressed seaweed. They made Naruto rolls, which again are a thing I think they just made up their name. Um, but it's ham, cheese, and nori rolled into a, a roll. I think it's, it's a way. reference to the spiral. spiral. Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Um, and the cool thing about Naruto rolls is that they're very easy to make. Um, the difficult thing is that it is ham, cheese, and seaweed. So that comes... You know, our palates, like yeah, our palates are not used to those com- that combination. Yeah. 
yeah. is ham and cheese like, oh, a ham and cheese? No, that's not what this is. <laughs> um, and then after all of that wonderful, wonderful, healthy food, we wrapped vegetables in bacon and pan fried it with teriyaki sauce. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, no. Teriyaki sauce um, with sugar added. Oh, because yes. why not? Uh, uh, yes. um, that's all it is. You're just wrapping vegetables in bacon and chop them to, to length and then throw them in a pan and pour over teriyaki sauce. Now, you've got to be careful there because depending on your pan, teriyaki sauce, if, you're, if that pan's too hot, Ooh, it's, it's just going to uh, it, It's not just going to splatter, it's going to form a crust. It's going to sort of. Oh, it's going to turn into candy, basically, um, oh, in wow. there, which is going to. Because gonna, of the sugar. Because of the sugar. It's going to kind of. Yeah. It can burn on your pan. Uh, just yeah. keep that heat, you know, hot, but not too hot. I've and also well, had a problem with, uh, if I'm cooking, like, soy-based sauces sometimes, right. it's, like, almost like the soy, like, like, the soy sauce gets scorched, and it has this, like, burn oh, flavor. Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's the sugar burning, but, you know. Maybe the you know, temperature too high. Yeah. Yeah. It's on too high. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's just part of the experience. Sometimes it doesn't work out, and you learn, and you keep on going. Yep. Right. Um, and then what's, what's next on the cookbook? Uh, after these, we'll be moving on to, oh, that's right, rice burgers. Rice burgers? They're not burgers. Uh, um, it's yeah. basically uh, rice formed into patties and then pan fried. Ooh, sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, and so two cups of steamed rice will make three buns. I'm sorry, four buns. Um, and basically, you just you know, put a little fat in the pan or oil or whatever, and then, um, uh, you know, cook them, fry them. They suggest, uh, let's see here, oh, add a little teriyaki sauce while you're cooking them for a little bit of, uh, Ooh, you need a hot club or Ooh, hot, hot, hot. They're not that. Wow. She's flipping around. Yeah. So, potatoes are flipped, another few minutes, and we should be good to go on those, and we will go in and chop them, and... Mash. Do the mash. You so much violence ready for four potatoes today. You're right. <laughs> I am I'm so sorry. I think I think Ben Riley comes uh, the idea preceded us there. Yeah. With the mash joke. <laughs> exactly, yep. <laughs> so have you guys made any what kind of uh, Japanese food have you guys made in the past? Uh, you guys tried. Sushi? I love to make Japanese home cooking type meals. So let's see. So I've I've done like what you call sukimono, different types of vegetable side dishes. Um, another one. I'm trying to remember the terminology. Yeah. It's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, nimono, oh. which is braised. Uh, yeah. It's not things that are boiled like in a soup, but there's uh, instead of cooking things with in, like sautéing with uh, fat, you you add some a certain amount of like liquid to the pan. And it's uh, usually basically it's like a not a super strong sauce, okay. almost kind of like a watery sauce. Okay. Uh, but it makes the food like the texture is amazing because you sl- kind of slow cook it a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so you can do that with different types of fish. Um, I really love daikon. Right. It cooks that way. Because yeah. it's it has a totally different quality when it's cooked uh, that way or if it's stewed. It just daikon. becomes like so sweet and tender and oh, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try some of these things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's one of the, the difficult things about cuisine is that you'll come across things other other cultures do to their food. And you try it with our food, it doesn't work the same way because yeah. it, it, you know, it's using their food and your daikon, other ingredients that we just don't have access to. And yeah. it just doesn't work the same. But sometimes it does. Mm. Um, there's a, in this area, there's a Japanese, a set of Japanese restaurants that they all have kind of different, uh, they're ramen shops, and each one has a different but they use like local ingredients. Okay, yeah. So like one of them is a chicken ramen, mm-hmm. and it, we 
uses, uh, what is it, like mustard greens or oh, something? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's so uh, it was yeah. His... Uh, Evan's been there as well. But, <laughs> but yeah. And ramen, I, I was actually, uh, oh, real it's ramen. so delicious. Not just like instant ramen, but ramen, ramen. But this group of restaurants actually has done so well. They opened, they've opened, I think, four that all have different menus. And they're every time they open a new one within a very short period of time, it's like constantly packed while it's open. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Well, and they were, <laughs> they were actually yeah. invited to do, I don't know if you guys know, but in Japan it's really popular to have these pop-up restaurants or cafes that are just limited time. And they were actually invited to go to Japan and do a, like a pop-up for just, I don't know, one to three months, something like that. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's it's really cool. neat. That's amazing. Well, it's Japanese-owned, but it's an American-based gotcha. restaurant, so it's pretty neat. That's cool. That's sad. <laughs> you, you only have three months. Eat yeah. quickly every day. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, I would it's have to disappear. constantly go to the new place. <laughs> totally. the cosmic ramen shop has disappeared. Speaking and of. Apparently, you have to, like, pre, pre-order tickets or something. to like oh, wow. You have to pre- before sometimes before the place even opens, it's all booked. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about good restaurants. Um, so just so you guys know, as we move on in this recipe book, later on we make udon, udon oh. from scratch. Oh. Wow! Yeah, so it that's is gonna be flour yes. and salt <laughs> and some liquid and water, and we're gonna it's, it, it, you make udon and then you make other things with it. So that's gonna be interesting. Sounds like yeah. Oh, I love udon. So good. Any kind of fresh noodles. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I have to think about that. I'll just let you go. <laughs> Still need a little time. No, it's fine. You can actually put the skin on. Peel it yeah. right now. A potato with a peel. In fact, what I might even do. Oh, it's coming right off like. Uh, yep. Yeah. Peel it. Oops. Well, if it's you not a bit too much. If, if you if you blanch it, would it? Uh, that would help. Actually, yeah, probably. actually, because then the okay. potato on the inside would not be as cooked. Yeah. So, um, but the skin would. Be I just wanted to probably <laughs> if I let this sit from it, it would cook uh, uh, even more. Oh, it yeah. would a little easier to get off. Mm. But just for now, just for Not our purposes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down a little bit. I'm going to get this stuff in. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's good. Don't touch it, Brent. Don't touch it. Hot salt. Most of these. Oh, there's a, there's a pretty dark spot. Yeah. The other bits and pieces of the back can be found. Oh, no. Alright. Fine. And then the other one. Ha ha ha. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> so uh, never do what I just did, which was start to cut towards yourself. Go like this. Ooh. Bad idea. Why I stopped. I did that. 
totally do that with smaller knives. So yeah. Oh, so I, I learned it from my grandmother because that she used to do that thing where she would like slice like this. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. And somehow she never cut herself. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, when you do it all your life, yeah, you become really good. I'm sure she did when she was younger. <laughs> yeah. Dogs love the kids. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, hi. Of course, dogs love a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my dogs, or my parents' dogs, eat various things in the yard. That, they, uh, they maybe shouldn't. <laughs> yes, you definitely should not copy. Passed on the squirrels are very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they also love to recycle. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yes. let's go ahead and uh, mix the potatoes and put the, actually, first off. Probably mash them up yeah. first, yeah. first. Yep, that's going to be very nice, right? All right. Yay. Mmm, okay. the fork. Chomp. Mm. don't think we had anything nasty on that. Okay. I don't want to mash these too much here. Because then again, I'll get gummy. Just enough to get, yep, exactly. There are some. Oh, yeah, there. Yep. They're next to the skin, too. They were okay. I'll get it at the skin. Alright, so I'm gonna add the mayonnaise. Yep. <laughs> that seems like not a lot of vegetables. Yeah, I see. Um, but let's go ahead and add I've got a little bit of some Little bits and pieces of it. Okay. How much sugar? Just sugar. It, it just as much as you want. Which is a dangerous thing to say to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we sugar want, in there. Well, we probably want the sugar to melt in the heat. <laughs> yeah. So we should Point. probably put it in. Yeah. Earlier. Not enough to kind of balance the salt and sugar. We'll start there. We do a fair amount of salt. Potatoes love salt. Oh, yes. So we will we'll try that much and then I have pepper in here. And then I have some pepper right here. Um, no pepper. I have curry powder. That's what I was thinking. Oh, right. That's so interesting. Curry powder. Yeah. Delicious. Mm. Oh, that smells good already. Mm -hmm. oh. They may be expecting um, smaller potatoes, because this does not seem like... It's those big American uh, yeah, potatoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It seems like it, because that's, I mean, they're kind of coming together. Yeah. But you could probably go a little more. Uh, mayo? Yeah, I'm just going to mash a bit more. We need some mashing, and we definitely need more things. Oh, yeah. Like, you'll get, you know... One carrot bit per per ball here. That's a little <laughs> silly. Yeah. Yep. And then what? Ah. Taste test. Mm -hmm. It's important. Mm -hmm. Get all the flavors balanced. Oh, that's the lemon juice. That's lemon juice. Lemon juice. That. So, how long did you cook these corn for? Uh, one minute. One minute. So, I added the lemon juice. That's going to bind it together more. I, I used about two thirds of it as a starter. Okay, yeah, I don't think we'll need more mayo. That's good. Okay. Stop there, just so we don't again kind of put the mayo back here. Yeah. And yeah, so that'll go in here, and that should be pretty good. And then we will need to, of course, fashion them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
those veggies in and mix them in, that should be kind of the end point. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, let's give them like a, a moment just to, sort of, um, like on the counter. Yeah, exactly. And then, I think, let's see, what would be a good, oh, you know what, have a, there we go. Ooh, a scooper. Ooh, nice. Scooper, scooper. Yeah, that's about the right size, I would say. And actually, they say, they say to roll these out, I should mention it's cool. So that's good. Wow. Get a few moments to cool here. See how we're doing on these veggies. Those are those are evening out pretty well. Not thinking of that song, any song. The waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And what's interesting is there's nothing here about. I would think these would just stick together like nuts. Um, well, not like nuts, like non nuts. Um, like like glue. Um, we yeah. just put them in there. They're just gonna be sticky. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Potatoes have starch and starch is like mm -hmm. a sticky. That's it. I think to make sure it's a little dry. I agree. Maybe a little more mayo. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Ooh. No more. Ash. Um, yes. Go for it. So flexibility is is good. In mm -hmm. Trying to follow too much to the letter, and you may have something that is exact to the letter, but doesn't taste quite what the intent was. Yep, exactly. Uh, part of that's also just a piece of communication and cooking too. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Now, you know what? We may have gone a little over here. If these are meant to stick together, I think it's possible that, they, that these are meant to be dense. Okay. Um, in the, you know, in the bento. Um, so, that's, it's one of those things where you better figure out for yourself what you want, what you're going to use these for, right. and realize that, you know, your, your use case may differ a little bit. Um, Often, you also have other cuisines where their food's more bland, um, or their food is meant to be a certain way. It isn't yeah. exactly what you're looking for. Um, this is a lot of uh, stuff. This is actually really cool. Yay. Okay. There we go. Let's Aha! Woohoo! Go for it. Sweet. Mm. Taste test. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dig in. I will just add a few more of these to the <laughs> I'm off camera, but. Compliments to the chef. Thank mm. you. No compliments to the other chefs. That's what thank you, thank you. This was a group meal. Mm. And the nice thing about this, with two potatoes, you get a lot of these little balls. You could very easily just cut this down to one potato and have plenty for yourself and some friends. 
going out somewhere, making up some bento boxes, and throwing these in here. In fact, I think very soon in this recipe book, you actually make a bento mm. by combining all these things mm. oh, into a, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. into a bento. Let's see here. So I'm going to be messy. I should be trying to do this with chopsticks or something. Yeah. So mm -hmm. definitely this is too soft. So I think we added a little, I, I, we were right to add more mayo, we probably added a little too much. Um, it should be a little more dense, just hold together, I think. Yeah. Mm. Lemon juice look kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you all so much yeah. for joining us on our Talk About Cooking. Um, do this every week, pretty much. And, uh, We'll be back next week with even more. I've got more streams coming up later in the week. And uh, yeah. thank you all. See you next week. Bye. Thanks.